Hello and welcome to the Vaults of Terror. My name is Ed and today we're going to be continuing with our Horus Heresy battle videos with a quick look at the Schism of Mars. Now the Schism of Mars was an early event in the Horus Heresy but extended well into the later stages of the entire conflict. It was caused by a civil war among the tech priests of the Mechanicum on Mars and was the founding of the Dark Mechanicum. The Schism involved all the forces of the Mechanicum including its knights and titans even down to the lowliest maintenance personnel. The schism was caused by an internal tension within the Mechanicum between various Magi, who argued over the nature of the Machine God, also known as the Omnissiah. One of the few remaining religions in the Imperium, many Magi believed the Emperor to be the embodiment of the Omnissiah, an avatar of the Machine Spirit. However, many more, including the Mechanicus's leader, the Fabricator General Kalbor Hal, believed the Emperor to be a false idol, and that if there was a manifestation of the Omnissiah, that they have not yet arrived. Kalbor Hal also resented the Emperor's treatment of the Mechanicus, turning their holy world of Mars into an arms factory for his Great Crusade, and banning research into certain technologies from the Dark Age of Technology, including artificial intelligence, of which he had a very keen interest. As this resentment simmered, the Mechanicum representative from Horus, known as Regulus, returned to Mars. Horus had already begun to spread his heresy, although this was unknown to the wider Imperium at the time. Through Regulus, Kalbor Hal quietly committed the resources of the Mechanicum to Horus, for the promised that the restrictions on their research would be lifted and that they would be free to follow whatever path they could in search of the mechanical perfection, including that of artificial intelligence. With this commitment still fresh, the Fabricator General knew that not all of the Mechanicum would follow him, and that in order to follow Horus, a purge of his ranks were needed. To do this effectively as possible, Kalabor Hal opened the Forbidden Vaults of Moravec, sealed by the Emperor for the knowledge contained within. Soon it became clear why the Emperor had sealed these vaults. The the whisper of chaos had tainted the information and technology within, corrupting it into a horrific digital virus known as the Scrap Code. When the vaults were opened, the chaos-tainted Scrap Code was released into the systems of Mars, corrupting every system it connected to and altering its function. Literal chaos reigned across Mars, as communication was disrupted on and off-world, and essential industry suddenly shut down or was ripped apart by the bombardment of tainted Scrap Code. As chaos and confusion reigned, the fabricated General and his allies assembled their forces, attempting to lock down Mars under his sole rule. However, several areas of Mars have been relatively unaffected by the Scrap Code assault, using a new and secure network known as the New Sphere to protect their systems. Three of these forges, under the command of Coriel Zeth, Iplavane Maximal, and Fabricator Locum Cain, became the centres of resisting this rising Dark Mechanicum, and also marshalling their forces to resist the traitors. The first shot fired was from the traitors, destroying a reactor complex belonging to Adept Maximal, which triggered the start of the hostilities on the planet. However, both sides were reluctant to to commit their full forces without a clear cause or justification. Those unwilling to join the Dark Mechanicum were goaded into combat by the traitors, with even rival Titan legions invading the other's territory to provoke combat. Eventually, Kalbor Hal received a justification when Zeth and her forge declared they were no longer following the Machine God, only the Emperor and the Imperium. That was enough for the Dark Mechanicum to declare her and her forge of Magma City heretics and begin their full assault on those not aligned with their faction. Fortresses were taken, cities were immolated under the barrage of hundreds of nuclear missiles, and everywhere the Mechanicum fought with itself over one question, did they follow the Emperor or Horus? Scores of Titans fell, hundreds of millions were slaughtered, and vast armies of Skitari warred across the red sands of Mars, burnt black under the increasing weapons fire that encapsulated the entire planet. The Loyalists held well, but the twisted monstrosities and techno-heresy now being produced by the Dark Mechanicum meant they were constantly on the defensive, trying in vain to push back against the traitors and their powerful abominations. The Dark Mechanicum even used virus bombs on Loyalist cities, killing millions in moments as the viruses scored away the city's organic life. Even the orbital space around Mars was not immune to this schism. The Dark Mechanicum frigates destroyed a large number of ships under construction and forced the battle fleet Solar that protected Sol out of the local space, and even shot down a massive Glorian-class ship which was knocked out of space and crashed into the Basilica of the Blessed Algorithm on Mars, obliterating millions of square kilometres of landscape and killing billions across the planet. It. With Magma City being one of the centres of the Resistance, it sustained many heavy attacks from the traitors, but stood firm whilst other Loyalists fell across the planet to the traitorous abominations. 
The Schism of Mars did not go unnoticed by the Imperium, but the sheer firepower involved prevented the usual defence forces from becoming involved. With Mars' full might being that far greater than most in the Sol system, and the Horus Heresy sending a lot of the forces away from Sol in order to provide support. However, they were not totally abandoned. Support arrived on two fronts, from the Imperial Fists assisting the fortification on Terra, and the regiments of the Imperial Army raised in Sol. These two forces secured two separate forges that could supply weapons to the Loyalists and keep fighting despite how heavily outnumbered they were. They were also exporting arms to the wider Imperium, which was now embroiled in a Horus heresy. Now, the Imperial Army did not have much success and did suffer significant losses, but the Imperial Fists had a much better time of it, being able to defend against many of the mighty weapons used by the Dark Mechanicum and also receiving new equipment from the Loyal Mechanicum to assist in their defence. Despite these small victories, it soon became clear that the Dark Mechanicum had greater numbers, more weaponry and a stronger position on the planet. The Imperial Fists led the evacuation of the Loyalist forces from the planet, retrieving as many Loyalists and materials as possible before the planet was blockaded, keeping the treacherous Mechanicum forces on Mars for the remainder of the heresy. Until the Siege of Terra, however, meant that most of those blockading ships returned to Terra to assist in its defence. Now, the Schism deprived the Imperium of a great deal during the heresy, from armament to Mechanicum support, as the Mechanicum split occurred on many forge worlds across the Imperium. Eventually, Mars would be reclaimed by the Imperium, driving the Dark Mechanicum into the Eye of Terra and out of the Imperium as a whole, but not until the Siege of Terra was done and Horus was defeated. So that's everything I wanted to say today, thank you for watching. If you have a comment for me, please leave it in the comment section below or send me a private message. We will be taking a one week hiatus over Christmas, so it will be three weeks before you see another video, hopefully that will not be too long, but we will come back with more on the Horus Heresy and its conflicts. So I hope you've enjoyed today, see you next time on the Vaults of Terror.